today we will create an, uh, a popular iFart app and uh, well we begin with a, a button we just uh, use the circle tool and we call the instance name button1 right click convert to symbol uh, where is the convert to symbol uh, there you go convert to symbol and we chose uh, button now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add some code in the timeline. Click on frame one and go to window actions. And let's uh, take a look at the code here. So we have some code here in the frame. I'm just going to copy that and <clears throat> paste it in Notepad so you can see it a bit better. Okay, so we have uh, the uh, this line of code which is auto-generated so uh, what we have is a, a variable f of type fart and it's equals to new fart bracket bracket and basically this is creating <coughs> a fart object and the variable we're interested in is called f and this has all the power of farts button one dot add event listener mouse event dot click so in the case that we click it's gonna call function aaa there's a semicolon there. And here's the function AAA. These are curly braces. F dot play plays the sound effect for the fart. So keep in mind that if you want to stop the sound effect uh, in the middle of a play, you need to use a little bit more complicated code. You might want to Google uh, sound channel making sound effects. But in terms of just playing a simple playing a simple fart sound. This is all you need. Quite simple. So let's take a look back at the uh, uh, <clears throat> code here and we need to get the actual fart sound. If you go to, let me just tell you here, honeykim.com slash share, go to this uh, website, you will find that I gave you the uh, uh, look for the fart.mp3. You download it and once you download the fart sound, you go to File Import, and you can import uh, to the uh, library, and you import that uh, fart sound. You look for it, and once you go to Window Library or Control L, you will see that we imported it here. Now, to actually control this fart MP3 in in our actual code, you right click you go to properties and go to action script you click on export for action script and let's rename our class fart with a capital F and um, <clears throat> click OK and that's that's how come we were allowed to actually use the uh, the fart as a class so just copy that pattern capital F fart that's where it came from it came from the actual library Anything else? Let's just share one last interesting thing here. Well, let's try running it. Control Enter. Okay, there's actually a big fart sound. Pow! You can't hear it because uh, I don't have it on the speaker, but it sounded really nasty. And you can press it multiple times, and there's a big uh, mess happening here. Run away. <clears throat> okay, one last interesting thing to finish off this tutorial. We have a nice uh, button here. Uh, look at properties you can see that this is a button what does that mean well let's double click into it you can see that there's a, a different uh, frames here and let's do something for up as well as over so if I right click insert a, a key frame here you can see that it's uh, green and let's change the color to uh, let's make it blue so you can see that when it's uh, when you're not actually over it, it turns blue. Uh, sorry, if you're not over it, it turns it's green. But if you mouse over it, it turns blue. This is nice. So let's go to scene one. Press Control Enter. You can see whenever I mouse over it, it turns blue. You have a real button here that makes it real. <clears throat> the fart sound. And I wish it was back in the gold rush days where you can make some apps, make twenty thirty thirty thousand dollars a day on a silly toy app such as this but anyways hopefully this is this fart sounds uh, make you uh, makes you happy congratulations you now know how to play music or play sound effects 
as well as you have a bit more understanding about how buttons work in mouseovers. Excellent.